Welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how I added extended notes to SAP Power Designer. See, recently I was looking at the list of new features in Irwin Data Modeler 2020, and there was one feature that caught my eye, and that was extended notes. I read the help documentation. It says you can have these things on any kind of objects, and it has a status and an important and various, uh, very, various other uh, properties, and it's a new feature, and you can compare them, etc. Well, I want to show you how you, in 10 minutes, you can add a very similar feature to any object in Power Designer without any programming, none whatsoever. So for example, here's a simple logical data model. Two entities here. Contact type, we can see, has a number of extended notes. Over here, we can see them. Extended note one, which actually has its own extended notes. And there are three more here as well. If I look at one of these extended notes, I can see that the parent object here is contact type. That's the entity that I defined it inside. Here's the name of it, extended note one. And here are three additional properties, candidate, sorry, status, author, and importance, plus some standard properties here in the box, which I called history. I've got the uh, person who modified it and when, and the person who created it and when, and then there's a comment property. And that's a, a custom box. And we can see also that we've got an extended notes tab there because an extended note can have its own extended notes. To make extended notes available in this LDM, I have to create a small model extension, which will create, contain content similar to, to this one. But this is an, a previous example and what I type in five minutes time may not look exactly the same, but it will do the same job. I can see I have an extended sub-object stereotype here of extended note and a sub object is something that lives inside another object, which a note does. It has these three extra attributes or properties, author, importance and status. And I've created a form to replace the general tab. And there's a couple of templates here to hold uh, values. Now down here, I've got named object. So that represents everything in the model that has a name. And I'm saying it can be composed of a collection of extended notes, which is great. I'm going to show you this. In, it takes me 10 minutes. We can uh, compare and merge these extended notes using the standard power design and merge compare once we've created them. No problem at all. I can include them in reports, list reports, and dependency matrices. Time to watch the video. With Power Designer, Adding new capabilities is mostly achieved by uh, defining what they call model extension files. That's what I'm going to create inside this logical data model. Once I've created it, I could save it as a file and then have it attached to uh, multiple data models. And I can also save it in a form where it could be attached to any kind of model. But today I'm just going to show you how to do this uh, very quickly in one model. Here is my simple model, two entities. There are no extended notes there at the moment, but soon there will be. What I need to create is a new extension, which I'm going to call extended notes. And I need to add something in here that allows me to make it a sub object within it's something. If I make a note, it's got to be owned by another object. So I need to add something which is an abstract class, which is called an extended sub object. If I was only to click on the right tab, it would help. Here we go. Extended sub object. 
And what I need to do here is something very simple. I need to add a new stereotype called extended note. Simple enough. It doesn't need an icon or anything like that because I'm not going to add them via the toolbox because they'll always exist inside something else. Now what I'm going to do is add to uh, this uh, extended note, I'm going to add some extended attributes, additional properties that I'm going to need. Because everything I add as an extended object of some kind in Power Designer gets the automatic um, standard properties of name, code, comment, description, keywords, etc. So I don't need to add those. But I'm going to add the author and I'm going to say it's a string and I would like to set a list of values. So I am going to create a template to put that list of values in. Okay, so we only have three people in our organization I can, I'm going to pick from. But if I can go back and actually, if I tick that complete box, if I was to tick that box like I just have, then the author has to be from this list of values. But I'm going to allow people to put something else if they like. Now I want to add another one, which is importance. Again, this is going to be a string. And I'm going to create a list of values for it which will be minor, medium, very important. I'm sure you wouldn't be making these up as you go along like I am today. Finally, I want to add another one, which is status. Again, a string. I'll create a template for these. Um, that it's an idea. Now I will actually say it's suggested, evaluated, approved, rejected. The values you put in here will obviously depend on quite what you're using these notes for. Okay. Now I want to define a uh, a new form because I would like the properties of a uh, uh, of one of these extended notes to I want all these properties to go together on one tab so what I'm going to do is create a tab to replace the general tab which is the first tab you see on any object property sheet so it's what it's done here is populated it with the current standard content of a property sheet what I'm going to do is amend it because there's the parent object, which will be possibly the entity that contains it. What I'm going to do here is say I'm going to take out the name and code because I'm not bothered about the code of an extended object. So, and I'm going to create a horizontal layout and move it to the top. Well, I will attempt to move it to the top. Put the parent object inside it and add the object name. So that will show me in this preview here, we can see I'm going to have the, the parent object along on the left and the name of the extended note on the right. And you can see I've already got my comment, stereotype and keywords there. I also want to add in a, another horizontal layout and in there I will add the status, the author, and the importance. I've decided that I really want them to be in this particular order. And I want it to be just up there after the other one. I'm going to apply those changes just in case. So at least they'll end up in the, uh, in the backup file if my PC crashes. Next thing I'm going to do is add a group box, which I'll put uh, there. 
and I'm going to call it history. And inside there, I am going to add some of the standard properties. I'm going to add, wait a minute, I need to add a couple of vertical layouts first. In the first one, I'm going to show the modification details. So I want to know who modified it and when. And in this one, I'm going to show who created it and when. Now, if I look at my preview, I did forget the one thing and what I need to have is a horizontal layout first and then have these vertical layouts inside it. When I look at it now, I have my history box with the modification date and modifier on the left and the creation date and the creator on the right. And there we go, my, my form is finished. At the moment I have created the extended sub-object, but I haven't put it anywhere. I haven't said that anything can have it. So what I need to do now is add the meta class, which is gonna be a, a common one, because I want this to be apply all over the place, and it's gonna be named object. So any object that has a name, I want to have this be able to have extended notes. And I have to add an extended composition so that the named object owns the notes. And I will call it extended notes. It's going to contain extended sub-objects and I want it to contain extended notes. So therefore, I'm gonna make sure when I list them inside, say an entity, I get the uh, the name, let's say the modification date modifier and the comment. There we go. Now I open up contact type. I have an extended notes tab and I can just add as many as I like. And if I look at a particular extended note, I have status. I'm going to say this one's been evaluated. It's written by Bill Gates and it's of medium importance. I did not set any um, default values for these new properties, but I could have done. And I'm gonna call, call it thingy. And this is where I put in all the text. Here's one I did earlier. And you'll notice that this extended note has an extended notes tab. Because it's an object in the model and I was um, possibly a little uh, lazy, just saying I want everything in the model to have an extended note. So an extended note can have an extended note. There yeah. quite a few extended notes. Now, if I look over here, I can see the thingy extended note has its own extended notes. I have a list report here where I can view these things if I want to. If I open it, here they are. I'd previously defined it so it contained the right kind of things and had the right column and row filters on it. And here's the content. These are all the extended notes I've got. That's the name of the parent object. And here are the properties. If I want the uh, this capability to be available in other models, I can copy and paste the model extension to another LDM. Otherwise, I'll need to copy and paste these um, meta classes here, the extended sub object and the named object into another model extension that is available for all types of model. But that's a relatively straightforward exercise. So I think in summary, I can see that I have taken about 10 minutes to do that. That's much better than waiting for a software supplier like SAP to decide it's important enough to add, and then you have to upgrade in order to get it. I've added that myself in 10 minutes. Thank you. Goodbye. How could I improve 
on this little piece of work I've done here. Remember it took me 10 minutes to add the extended notes. I could improve it by perhaps automatically adding a timestamp to the comment or description, which would be useful if I did the second feature where uh, we give the option, maybe add a menu option or a button, which will append the, an extended note to the comment or description of the object that owns it. So if you have five extended notes and you append them all, it might be quite handy if they all have a timestamp on them already. We could possibly allow people to merge several extended notes. And alternatively, we could um, link that extended notes to uh, other objects. So if, it, if there's a note in here, say we should consider merging this entity with another one, perhaps you could link through there to the entity you're considering linking to. Bear in mind that you can already do this using traceability links, which are, will allow you to link an extended note to almost anything. And here's a quick reminder of uh, what we created. We've created a new kind of sub-object called an extended note. This one we can see is within the contact type entity. And because I know the Power Designer icons, I can tell you that as an LDM entity just from the icon. The status is candidate. You can see who the author was. This was text. It could obviously be populated with the name of the user at the time. But of course, the person typing it might not be the person whose note it is. And here I gave it an importance of three star because I think in this example here, I was using the version, the uh, values that uh, Erwin are using. To discuss more about how you can get the best of, out of Power Designer, go and look at my blog, please. Metadatajunkie.wordpress.com to contact me, put slash contact on the end of that. Alternatively, I am Metadata Junkie.